guys! So today we're going to do another makeup tutorial incorporating a lot of hair and a certain feline inspired by Disney's The Lion King. If you don't know what this movie is and you're a Disney fan, where have you been? It is one of the best ones, The Circle of Life, but there is this villain in it called Scar. For the obvious scar across his eye and I thought that I would recreate him on my face because this is one of my all-time favorite childhood movies. So, let's see if we could do this. First, I'm gonna get my hair out of my face and put a hairband on my head. You're gonna wanna get a glue stick to do the disappearing eyebrow trick. If you've been watching my video where I get glue, slap it on, wait for it to get tacky, then do a layer of powder, wait for that to dry, then a very, very thick layer of glue. When it gets tacky, put more powder on it and wait for that to completely dry so we can have this flat surface that we could paint on top of. And today I thought we would draw the outline of this character using a eyeliner pencil, just any old cheap one you have. We're gonna do Scar's eyes over our eyelids. I'm gonna do exactly to the picture that I found online of him looking sideways, giving you that side eye in a very evil manner. Do one eye at a time so you can see what you're doing when you draw the other eye on your face. Do the eyebrows, all the eyelids. Of course with the notorious slash scar on one eye and do some arched brows. And then we are gonna draw in the nose, the snows of this feline cat. Above our cupid's bow around the area of your nose, you wanna make sure just it's in the right proportions to the actual scar picture on his face from Lion King. He has this very wide, weird shaped nose and I'm doing that under my regular nose, around my cupid's bow, and on the upper lip where it's gonna point. And then a center line down my bottom lip and the V mark, mostly cats and rabbits have this type of mouth. And then we're just doing more lines across the face. You want to have the lighter color fur around the mouth area. These lines are gonna indicate that and we're gonna do it below our chin, on our neck. Make sure you do some strokes of like some natural hairs. You know how a lion looks, right? I hope. Then we're gonna draw a widow's peak on our forehead and other lines on our face. Scar kinda has a giant widow's peak that will compete with Maleficent. I mean, they're both very prominent in Disney villains. And once you're done with that outline, we are gonna use a brand new makeup palette. This is the May Ron Paradise Colors palette, the basic one. I'm gonna mix these two colors some brown and orange and a slight tinge of red together on a palette and use that as my base. With the foundation brush, I'm gonna swipe this across the main color parts of Scar's face. It's going to be a brown orange tint. You wanna make sure you don't have any streaks and you have an even layer. You're gonna do these around the eyes and touching the nose but not completely on that weird nose shape that we drew and not on the white parts of the lower mouth. It's like terracotta poop brown color, to be honest. Very odd. And let that dry because once it's dry, we're gonna do the mouth fur color, a little mixture of white, red, and brown with maybe some yellow so that we can get just the right perfect amount of color. If you're looking for a very good makeup palette for Halloween makeup looks, I would recommend this. It's a little hard to mix the colors because they're so stiff and cakey in texture, but not the way they apply. You just add water. For the price, it's like $40. You can find this online on Amazon and it's so worth it. Because once you have these right color mix, we are going to put that on our mouth area of the lion. You want to build up thin layers with this because we don't want it too thin and we don't want it too thick. If you think it's too much of a pink white and too thin, you can add some yellows to it. Get a aqua sea sponge if you want. Pat that on there. If you make any streaking mistakes, this aqua sponge is the best. If you get too much of a pink white undertone, you can use that on the scar that we drew on his one eye. And then I'm gonna use the colors brown and black to mix together to make the color of the fur around my chest. But without foundation brush, I'm just gonna do the widow's peak starting off there, going from top to bottom, making sure it's all covered. You wanna make sure you get this in your hairline. I'm sorry, but you're gonna have to take a shower after this, scrub your hair and your scalp. If you do not have long hair, please get a wig that is dark, almost black, maybe get black. And so it's easier, you could just get the black instead of mixing black and brown and do 
doing too many chemistry technical stuff like I am trying to do. I'm sorry. Color in the sides of Scar's jowls in the bottom of the fur around your neck with that foundation brush. You get as intricate and do as many fur lines as you want if you want to make this more of a realistic line instead of the cartoon Disney like I'm doing. Take this wherever you want. Let your imagination just go roam free and wild. I like to build this up in layers so I noticed that my black brown color was too light so I'm getting more of a darker black brown and doing the rest of my chest. This feels so good if you're doing this in the summertime in a very hot hot heat of a room like I am. And once you think you got your neck and the sides of Scar's face covered, you're going to get a thinner brush and do the nose. It's very good to use a flat top brush for things like this to where they're not too small and intricate, but you want enough detail and there's many different shapes and curvatures. A flat top brush will give you the movement that you want to paint this in and fill it in correctly. You can do the bottom of the mouth and you want to make sure you have this nose shaped like a feline scar nose. And remember to fill in those lines that we drew in before on our bottom lip and chin. You can black it in different parts, do the details of the line on the sides of the face and around scars, frown marks that go up on our own cheeks. Then we're gonna get a light brown paint color, mixing a very light watered down tint of the brown from our makeup palette and doing that above our eyelids and a little bit on our eyebrow around where Scar's eyelid area would be, right below his eyebrows. Make sure you don't saturate your natural eyebrows too much because you don't want that glue and everything we put on there to come off. It kind of looks like a light brown bark of a tree color. If the paint with the paintbrush is too wet on those eyebrows, you can also do this with the sponge. Maybe it'll be easier for you. And then I'm going to get a medium brown taupe color eyeshadow with a fluffy eyeshadow brush and start shading in on the top of the nose. It'll give it so much more depth and make it pop out more so it doesn't look like a flat surface of something you just painted on. Also getting an orange kind of tan color to do on the side of that mouth fur with another eyeshadow brush. Then we're going to get some black paint from our Mayron palette that we've been using and get a thinner paint brush and do the eyebrows of Scar. These are my absolute favorite things to draw on him. I don't know why, probably because they're so expressive and so many curves on it. I love how one goes higher than the other and the one near his scar goes straight. Then we're going to get the brown paint color from our palette and with the same type of paint brush we're going to do lines of like the cat whiskers that lions have and Scar has of course as well. Then I'm going to get the yellow from my Mayron makeup palette with another paint brush and draw in the whites of the eyes. They're not going to be white this time, they're going to be yellow, like he has some sort of sick disease but he's just evil and going to be green with envy because the other parts of the eyes, after you both sides of the eyes yellow with this, we are going to do them green. More of a yellow green first is going to be the base and then I'm going to get a black eyeliner and do some detail around the eyes draw in those pupils make sure you have details of the eyelids because yes scar from Lion King has eyelids and it makes them be more expressive on top of those eyebrows that we did make sure you have your regular natural eyelash line connect to the bottom of those eyes and darken it in with the black eyeliner this is so much fun to do because this is going to give so much more absolute definition of the eyes which is like the best part of any cartoon character in my opinion. You can get this black eyeliner and also darken in the folds of your neck if you have any so that it won't desaturate the colors that you painted on. And then we're going to go in more with the black paint again on our chest so that it matches our t-shirt better and it'll blend in with our hair. If you have dark hair, like I said, you may need a wig. If you don't, have dark hair that's long. And once that's saturated all the black on your chest, we're going to get that black eyeliner pencil again and redefine that Maleficent Widow's Peak on his head. You want it more squared off in some parts because it gives him more of a frown for some reason and it just will look more like the actual scar from Lion King. 
And now it's time to take our hair band out of our heads and pull our hair down because that is our finished makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I had so much fun doing this. I actually did a full day of makeup class and came home and did this right away because I just had so much more inspiration and I miss you guys. Doing one video a week is tough. But I hope you guys have been enjoying these. I've been still trying to work very hard and up the quality of these videos by going to school. And now it's time to take this off. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave me a comment on what you would like to see in the next makeup transformation video, whether it's something very creepy and crazy scary or something Disney. Thank you guys so much again for your inspiration on pushing me to keep doing this and following my dreams on doing something in art and fun and creative. If you guys didn't know and you haven't been watching TV on the sci-fi channel, I was actually on television. Can you believe it? My mind just blew. They put me on the Will Wheaton show with one of my makeup transformations. It aired Wednesday, July 9th on the Sci-Fi channel, but if you haven't seen it, it will be down in the description box and a link there below where you can go watch it. Maybe leave a comment on what you thought. I am 20 minutes into that video. If it's not there, I'm so sorry. Sometimes YouTube is strict with whatever TV shows is up, but I'll try to find links so that you can see it. I'm on their shout out section more towards the end of his television show. I cannot wait to learn more in school and do better for you all. So I should get going before I talk your ears off. Thank you so much. I would not be on television without you. That's just crazy. I still can't believe it to this day. And I love you guys. See you in the next video. Bye.